All right, today we're going to learn how to put in multiple drivers uh, using one display. Uh, you need a 7.5 inch or larger, and you can have up to connect up to four different types of PLCs. So we'll show how that's done. We're going to start with a new new program. I'm going to select a 3600 series just as an example, but again, anything larger than a 7.5 will work. Hit the next button here. And we're going to actually select three different types of PLCs. Uh, this is three different drivers to us. So my first one, I'm going to select a uh, Modbus. The second one I'll select as a Rockwell. And a third one as a Siemens. And you can see how I've entered those all in. Uh, for the Modbus, I'll go ahead and use that as a COM1. The Rockwell, I'll go ahead and select that as an Ethernet IP. And a Siemens, I'll go ahead and also make that an Ethernet driver. And you can see how that goes in. If I were to overwrite one of them, and I would go ahead and select a COM port for COM1, you'll see that you'll get an error code for one, of, one or the other. So once you get that, you go to Communication Settings. This is where you actually selected those three drivers. It went ahead and built the program with using those three drivers. Go into each one, and you can see each one's communication settings that you can set up. And you can see on Modbus here, I've got my serial type connections. I can change its baud rate, data bits, that type of thing. Um, under device two, you'll see that there's not as much. There's communication settings, but there's a uh, ability to do an IP address. So what we want to do here is under each tab, each of our devices, we want to put a unique name at the bottom. So instead of PLC1, um, being that this is a actual Modbus, we will call it Modbus. Then on PLC2, we will go to our Rockwell and I'll say Rockwell1. And let's say we have two different devices here. We'll have two different Rockwell PLCs. I'll hit Add Device, and I'll have a Rockwell 2, just like that. And then you hit this little Settings key and set up its significant IP address and what series of product it is. But just for this type of uh, setup, we'll just keep them both as Slick 500s. For our third device, for our Siemens, we'll give it, instead of PLC3, we'll name it Siemens. Once you get everything set up in the uh, communications settings, we then go to our edit and actually start creating our screens. You go to base screen one, and then we can go to a data display, put it on the page, double click, and then you'll see your monitor word address for a particular part. There's a little calculator out to the side of the monitor word address. You just click that calculator, and what we do is actually parse each one. So you can see all the names that we just created, Modbus, Rockwell, Rockwell 2, and Siemens. Uh, as you can see, I'll select the Modbus. You get addresses like 40,000, zeros, ones, and threes. That's Modbus type addressing. If we were to select Rockwell, you would see Rockwell type addresses, inputs, outputs, integers, things like that. So uh, we'll go ahead and do a Modbus one first and just do a simple 40,001, enter that in. We can allow input here so we can enter data there and OK. And then let's go ahead and put a push button beside of it so you can see the difference between a word and a bit. We'll create a bit switch um, and we'll call, you know use the Modbus address 0001. Now if I wanted to go to another device, we could just copy and paste this over. Go into each one of those, hit your calculator again, select Rockwell this time, and maybe go to like something like B30 slash 0. And then on our data display, 
hit the calculator, select the rock well that you need, and then put its address in something like N7 colon 0. And then we can label that each one to show the different connections. So I'm just going to close out here and uh, put some text here that call this a Modbus. And the other one, a Rockwell. And again, I can duplicate this uh, two other times to get the Siemens and the other Rockwell on. But the whole point of this uh, video is to show how easy it is to go between each device and show different addresses from each PLC.